Hey guys, it's Jeremy from HockeyReviewHQ.com. Today I'm doing a review of the Grit Hockey Bag. This is a new innovation in hockey uh, bag technology, I guess you could say. Uh, basically I've been using just the regular old hockey bags for my whole life. Just a big sack, you throw all your gear in there and throw it over your shoulder and go. So after that they came out with the wheeled hockey bags with the wheels on the bottom, which I wasn't really a big fan of. Uh, they're a lot heavier and it's kind of hard to put them in the trunk of your car. And then they came out with the tower hockey bag, which is uh, the grit tower. So that's what I'm going to do a review of right now, tell you how it's different than other hockey bags and why you might want to get one. Let's take a good look at this grit hockey tower bag. So first take the plastic off here. Nice and easy. And then we got some uh, product packaging. So I'll just rip that off and give you a look at what they are promoting in this bag. Here's the product packaging that comes with it and it just uh, goes over a few of the features. So I'll pull the bag open soon and show you all this stuff. But So here's one air dry feature. So uh, more breathable than regular hockey bags. So it allows the gear to dry out quickly. Uh, inside the bag you have all these shelves. So you can put your skates there, helmets there, you know, pads down there, shin guards, all that stuff. So it's got a nice uh, compartment to put everything. And then you can put, uh, say, like a jock or uh, compression shorts or anything in the outside. It kind of helps them dry out a bit easier and separates them. It's also got this little floor carpet, so you can stand on that. You don't have to stand on the gross uh, floor inside of the dressing room. So uh, then on the back, it shows a whole bunch of different colors you can get. So quite a few different team colors. And they kind of this one looks like the Buffalo Sabres, Boston Bruins. Uh, I've got Toronto Maple Leafs down there. So all kinds of different colors and sizes that you can choose from. So this one that I'm doing a review of is the 36 inch and it's black and red, which happens to be my favorite color combination. So let's take a look at the bag. I'm just gonna go over the whole bag and all the compartments and features that it has and I'll just explain them and then I'll show you a close up of each compartment after I unzip it all. So this is my first time going over this bag, but I'll just tell you off the start, half the kids on the hockey team that I coach have these grit tower bags or the hockey tower bags. So I'm pretty familiar with them. So uh, right on the front, we got a pocket here. So look inside there. And uh, this is kind of cool. It's got little holders. It looks like you can put a water bottle in there. So maybe uh, two water bottles right there. So the kids always have water. That's a good idea. Uh, and then you can add some more stuff, maybe like hockey tape and stuff in the bottom. So that's a pretty nice compartment right at the front. We'll unzip it in the bag here. Oh, it looks like it unzips more. So it opens from the side. And you open that up. What you have inside is a whole bunch of compartments. So there's a sh shelf here, shelf here, shelf there. Uh, these ones I think are for your hockey skates. And they've got a little bit of padding at the back here. And then there's a clip right there, that's kind of cool. Uh, and then this folds out. Let's see. So you can use that as a mat to step on. So you can put your skates on it or just put your feet on it so your feet don't get wet. So that's kind of nice. And then in here you can put all your bigger items like hockey pants like right at the bottom. Uh, there's another shelf right here. Looks like there's a zip out bag. Uh, that looks like you could probably clip it inside here somewhere because it's got these little clips on it. So you could put wet stuff in there, say after you, you play. You can put uh, underwear, socks, jocks, stuff like that that needs to dry out or that your Under Armour, you know, things like that. And it's got this breathe, breathable mesh at the front. So that's nice. Uh, the zip out door here, it's got compartments where you can put things. And these also have breathable doors, so if you put something in there, it's going to air out. It's uh, pretty good there. Uh, something cool on the side of the bag. It's got a stick holder, so you can Velcro. You put your hockey stick there, and then the blade fits down to the bottom right there, so your hockey stick can go right along the side. And then it's got another one on this side as well, so your stick and your backup stick, you can put them all in here. So basically what you have is it's like a little luggage uh, compartment for your hockey stick. Oh, at the back, I just saw this. It's got this uh, mesh right here, and it's got holes drilled in, so it's hard plastic with holes, so that'll allow your hockey equipment to breathe, and it's got the w wheels on the bottom. I'm just going to grab the uh, camera off the tripod, and I'll show you a close-up look of this. Here's a close-up look of all the features. So at the top, you have a handle. Bottom, you've got these wheels. So really easy to pull this around, all your hockey equipment with your hockey sticks in the side. So really good for kids if uh, you know they're not used to carrying all their equipment. At the back, here's the mesh with the holes in the back. So that's going to allow your hockey equipment to breathe and air out, which is always nice. I would still recommend at least unzipping the front uh, right when you take it home because that helps. Uh, at the back, we got this little tag. So it says it's 36 inch HT1 grit hockey bag. And you could probably put your name, address, all that stuff on there just in case you lose your bag. Uh, it's good for if you're traveling, I guess. Uh, here's the holders for the hockey stick. So Velcro at the top. A uh, little blade, put your blade in the bottom. This is the front pocket, and you can see inside it's got these water bottle holders. 
and more compartment storage in the bottom. Open it up. We've got the mesh pockets, zipper, more mesh boxes at the bottom, so I'd probably put like wet stuff in there, uh, like Under Armour, uh, Jock, all that sort of thing, socks. We've got skate compartments, helmet right there, skates. Uh, another compartment down here for, say, elbow pads, and then probably shin pads, hockey pants down there. And then we got another uh, mesh compartment that you can zip up, and the carpeted pad that you can use for st standing on. There's also a arm strap, it looks like right here, so you can clip uh, that to, looks like right there. So if you do want to carry this bag over your shoulder, then you can clip that on and use this as a shoulder strap and carry the hockey bag over your shoulder. There's a detailed look at the HT1, which is the uh, model number of this Grit Hockey Tower hockey bag. And just kind of gives you a comparison on how it compares to other hockey bags. So other hockey bags, the simple ones, it's just a big sack. You throw all your hockey equipment in it. You might have one or two pockets where you can keep things separated. And that's it. You just pick it up, throw over your shoulder and go. Uh, the other, there's other wheeled ones where they just have the wheels. So same thing. It's a big sack. You throw your stuff in. There's a few pockets and you can pull it along. And then we have the uh, Grit Tower which I would say is the most advanced hockey bag. It's got all those shelves. So I'll uh, talk about right now what I think is good about the bag and what I don't really like, but that's you know, my personal opinion. Uh, I think this bag would be great for kids because it helps them stay organized. You know, when you open it up, you can see if they have all their hockey equipment because I'm sure every hockey parent has had that experience where the kid forgot their helmet or one elbow pad or a skate or something silly like that, right? You go all the way to the rink, half an hour, one hour, and the kid doesn't have something. So it's easy, open it up, look inside, everything's organized, you know exactly where everything is, so it's easy to check. You don't have to dig through a bag and make sure that the kids have everything. So I think that's good. Also, it's got the wheels and the handle, so if you want the kids to take their own hockey equipment, it's really easy, just pull it behind them, and uh, you know that's all there is to it. When it comes to recommending a bag like this for an adult, personally, I wouldn't recommend one. I'm not really a big fan. Um, there's a few reasons for that. Uh, I mean, this bag, it's got lots of really cool features, and it's a pretty sweet looking bag. So if you do like it and you like all these features, go ahead and pick one up. Uh, the reason I don't really use them is there's two, two reasons. Uh, first one, the wheeled hockey bag is a lot heavier, and I prefer just to pick up my bag, throw it over my shoulder and go. It's nice and easy. Uh, you know, I don't have to drag it around or anything like that. So that's the method I prefer to carry my hockey equipment. Uh, second reason is for portability. The simple hockey bags where it's just fabric, they're really easy to stuff and jam and stuff like that. So when I go to hockey, I like to throw my stuff in the trunk and uh, close it up. I find with the bigger hockey bags, uh, the ones with the wheels, they've got this hard plastic on the back, so you can't really push them or shove them or anything like that. Uh, pretty much that big square is what you're working with. So if I go to hockey and I bring a couple of my friends and we all throw the hockey bag in the back, usually what we do is take the stick and stuff them all in there until they fit and then slam the thing closed and we go. If one of the guys has a bag like this, you pretty much have this big giant 36 inch long thing to try to fit somewhere. So it's not quite as portable. But I mean, if you have a minivan and a few kids, the cool thing about these grip bags is that they stand up straight. So you can sort of uh, sort them you know, in, in a row. So it might be a bit easier for these types of bags, but I like the uh, ones that you can kind of just stuff and, and jam in there. So that's my recommendation. Uh, great for kids. And if you're an adult and you like the, all the cool features, like the organization, uh, the breathability of the back, the wheels, stuff like that, go ahead and pick one up. So that's the personal review of the Grit Hockey Tower. Thanks a lot for checking out the videos, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to check out HockeyReviewHQ.com for more reviews of hockey equipment and hockey training aids. And you can check out HockeyShot.com if you want to pick up one of these bags.